Okay. Let's go ahead and get the ball rolling. Um, and of course, Lucy had to be the first one to mention it. Um, <laughs> welcome to the web user group. Um, usually here we talk about things uh, like marketplace, anything uh, web related, um, or any of the other projects that I personally work on, which is uh, mobile and some other various projects here and there. Um, let's go ahead and get the whole gacha policy stuff out of the way. The only thing that I'm going to be able to comment on is exactly what is here, uh, where that policy change has been discussed. I don't have any other information regarding that, um, including specifics uh, surrounding, you know, what what will happen with this particular uh, item or this particular methodology. Don't have any information on it, uh, unfortunately. There are, um, there's a link to um, a forum post on there as well. So you can go and read that. It's really uh, long. I am not working. Can you all not hear me? Oh, okay, good. I was like, oh my gosh, do I have to start that over again? <laughs> um, but there is, it's, it's a really long forum post and people are asking about a lot of very specific things when it comes to that gacha policy. Um, there are uh, certain things in there that we would need to refer back to our legal team on and we have a team of people doing that already. Um, so if anybody asks questions about the gacha policy, I'm going to direct you right back to the forum post. So just to put that out there now, just to let everybody know. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. unfortunately, um, you know, it's, it's new for us too, and we're working through, you know, what exactly it means. And we unfortunately don't have all of the answers yet, but uh, like I said, we do have a team that's working on getting those. So there will be more information coming um, if needed, uh, and it'll be posted there on the blogs as well. So keep your eyes out there, um, and if you are into it, go ahead and read the forums. Um, like I said, it's super long. I don't know, even know how many pages we're up to now. Last I checked, it was like 95 or something. So um, there's a lot of discussion. Yeah, 90 plus. A lot of discussion going on there. Um, if this is your first time here, I usually start off with kind of a, an overview of what the web team has worked on over this month um, and talk about maybe some other things that I'm working on. Um, so we can jump right into that. Plus is not on my agenda for today because I don't have any more news on that. Sorry. Um, I think I mentioned last time that we've been um, working on a lot of backend work and we are still doing that. We have a lot of uh, system upgrades that we need to do. Um, and it's, it's taken a little bit of time, but it's, it's completely necessary and will help us uh, deploy better and get better features out there for you all, um, as well as speed up some processes um, like search and things like that. So um, that's why we're really focusing on a lot of these upgrades to get those done and get those done as quickly as possible for you all. Um, but in that process, we did, we did manage to get a few things out. Um, on the marketplace, we were getting errors um, with some residents who had uh, two-letter names. They were encountering an authentic authentication error. Wow, I can't talk. Um, and we fixed that. Um, we did some uh, some UI cleanup on the land page. Um, fixed that up a little bit. Uh, a few minor changes to the join page so that it flows better from uh, the new home page. Uh, like I said, lots of back-end work, and our biggest one that went out this week uh, was bulk re-delivery on the marketplace. Um, so I know that was that was something that had been asked for for quite a bit. Um, and I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but like I said, a lot of what we are doing right now um, is upgrading and getting uh, getting things in a in a better working position so that we can get things out faster since the new last name change. Are there now single letter first names? Um, oh, there are. Um, so single, I don't think there's been any problems with them, no. Not that I've heard. Um, advancement on listing variants. It, it's a project that we do wanna do. 
it's just we've got kind of a lineup, got a lot, little backlog going here. Um, but marketplace variance is something that's pretty high on our list to get out um, as soon as we uh, free up some other uh, projects that we need to get out ahead of it. But it is very much on the roadmap for web. Like what projects? I can't tell you, I gotta keep something super secret. Um, mostly behind the upgrades that we're doing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I mentioned last time that, um, I think I mentioned last time that we were, um, we were working on search. So we're taking a look at, uh, at search and how that's working and uh, looking at ways uh, to make that better. That's going to be a pretty big, uh, pretty big project too. But our first step is uh, is making it faster. So, missed the part about Plus. There's no update on Plus. Sorry, <laughs> it's it is still sitting out there. And for those of you don't, that don't know, it's kind of a, uh, yep, yeah, <laughs> what are Plus? It, it's actually it's actually called Premium Plus, and it was supposed to be a new. Um, a new uh, level of uh, membership, but um, we have kind of put that on hold for a little while. It's not completely gone, but um, it is on hold right now. Mobile. So mobile, um, let me see. Free purple unicorn Pegasus. Oh my gosh. That would be awesome. Um, okay, so mobile, we're we're getting close to putting out a new um, test flight beta version with a few more features in it. So things are progressing um, with mobile right now. Um, I don't have a date quite on that yet. It all depends on you know how we do when we go through QA. Um, so there should be something coming soon if any of you are in test flight. Um, uh, you'll see something new drop uh, probably pretty soon. And if you're not and you want to be, yeah, Android unfortunately is behind iOS. Um, so right now the mobile app is only iOS. Um, and it is only, uh, it's a chat companion basically for Second Life. So really the only functionality in it is, is the ability to chat. Uh, Frankie, the only information I can give is, you know, exactly what's out on the blog uh, as well as what's in the forums when it comes to the Gacha policy. I know people are very uh, concerned about it and want to know specifics, uh, maybe something specific about what they have or what they run. Um, there are certain things that we would need to run past our legal team first. So um, if there's any any update to that policy, it'll be out there on the blogs. Um, or if there is, you know, something specific, if it's not uh, on that forum, um, you know, you might, you might think about adding it on there. Uh, we do have people taking a look at it, but it is quite large. Um, and I think a lot of people uh, have brought up the different kinds of systems that they want us to weigh in on and say, does this count as gotcha or not? Um, but like I said, we need to defer to our legal team before we can make any statement about that. Um, Steffi, you know, I'm not really sure because that's viewer. It's not something that I have um, a lot of interaction with being over on the website. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure when that's going to become release version. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not seeing anything about that that I can disclose right now. Uh, 
Um, and yeah, that, those are all the, the main things that we've been working on this last month. Um, so now if there are specific questions that don't have to do with Gatcha, because I'm just going to give you the same link. I mean, feel free to ask, but I'm just going to give you that same link and the same spiel again. Uh, that is the end of, yeah, it's the end of, uh, end of my notes of what we did this month. Yep, web profiles do. Okay, I hit my mute button. Um, the legacy profile viewer uh, is actually something that I've been working on as well. Um, we ran into a couple of snags that we are um, trying to work through right now. I can't, I can't say how close we are. It's not, you know, imminent. It's not like you know next week or the week after. Or, um, it's not, it's not that close. Um, but we do, we do still have a few, um, a few issues that we're working through right now. So it's, it's going to be a bit before. Uh, Legacy Profiles viewer comes out. Yes, it is still very much an active project. Yep, it's it is still uh, it's still being worked on, but yeah, it hasn't hasn't even gone to RC yet. Picks in the viewer are not free. We put a fee on them um, as a way to kind of, yeah, like Lucy said, <laughs> there is that. But also it takes up quite a bit of storage space for lots and lots of picks. Uh, occasionally clear browser cache to access my, um, we're actually right now in the process of doing some work on my.sl.com. Uh, that may have something to do with it while you're having to, to clear your cache. Is it just on my that you're seeing that or is it across the website? A redirect error. Oh, yeah. There's we've had we've had a, had some issues um, with my where it uh, is having some trouble. Um, usually on the weekends, I think uh, is when we've been having those. Um, but yeah, it's it's not typical. It's not usual, and it is something that we're looking into.
Yeah. Um, texture upload pricing should be based on resolution. Hmm. Hmm. That's an interesting. Um, authorization error this morning on the marketplace. Uh, I don't think so, so uh, Sonia. I'm not sure what that was. Um, let me look. I don't normally have info on tickets. Um, I, I can't tell you how long it's going to take them to get through it, but I can find out if that's the right place to put it. I don't have insight into the, um, the support team's flow right now, so... I'm sure that ticket type is fine, but I'll find out if they get back to me uh, before we're done here. I'll let you know about the ticket type for the, um, the beta grid copy. Um, a couple of days, days I find I need to explicitly log in via the profile floater in order to act, fully access profiles within a viewer. Uh, no, I don't think that would be related to what we were doing. Are you, you're using the, just the regular SL full release viewer?
Okay, I'll see if I can find any open uh, issues on that particular issue of having to re-log in, in the view, if, when you're in the viewer. Sonia, you're getting that in search in viewer as well? Ugh, okay. Let me look really quick and see if I can find anything. Uh, if not, a bug report would be much appreciated if I can't find one. Yeah, I'm not I'm not finding one really quick. <laughs> it was nice seeing you again, son. It's been a while. <laughs> Take care. Um So, yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing one right away, so yeah, if you could, if if somebody, anybody who's seen it can send in a bug report um, with as much detail of the issue as possible, um, yeah, next time it happens, um, you know, maybe grab a, a, a quick screenshot um, and just let us know what was happening there and we'll look into it. Um, no, none that I can think of right now. Um, I hope you do it on the item itself. So if you go into the into the product page, um, it'll the, there should be a button in there. And it'll automatically uh, deliver to anybody who has purchased or uh, has received that item. Awesome. Thanks, Dakota. Putting in all the details. For the listing owner, correct. Uh, and I just dropped the link in, link in there. <laughs> Have two. Yeah, there is a lot of gadget stuff in there. 
uh, option of a message, no, it does not. Uh, Steffi, there is no plan to change the way that we're doing that right now. Um, it is a bit out of scope for this um, for this meeting. I unfortunately don't have any information on uh, on that. But at this time, we don't have any plans that I'm aware of uh, to change how uh, cash outs work. Uh, planning, 2FA is in the planning stage right now. So it is it is coming along. Uh, again, not my team, but I do know what's happening there. Um, but it, I do not know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the specifics of, of what's happening on that side. But I do know that it's, uh, it's in planning and uh, should be um, getting started working on it fairly soon. Ish, you know, soon is kind of a generic term around here. <laughs> Could mean anywhere from, you know, now to three years from now. But um, yeah, it is. It is still it, uh, being planned on. Um, yes, but it's not something I can share. <laughs> That would be nice. But I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what the what the schedule is um, for that. Grid scope experience uh, is on hold right now. That actually was going to be one of mine too, but we have put that one. <laughs> I know. We have put it on hold. Uh, place pages. Um, place pages are still there. They haven't died. Uh, don't have any plans on a, you know, immediate, uh, immediate work on place pages right now, though. We do still have the, the 360 uh, viewer out there. And that's probably going to be getting a little bit more attention shortly as well.
Yeah, there's Steffi. There's a um, there's a 360 viewer out uh, on the viewer uh, the alternate viewers page there. Uh, it's called Second Life. It's the first one under Project Viewer, Second Life Project 360 Snapshot. Yep. Yeah, it's it's been out for a while and hasn't had a whole lot of work done on it, but it is, it's going to be coming back around here. Uh, place pages really don't seem to get any press. Yeah, it's it's kind of like some people some people use them, some people don't. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been a hot minute since that's been updated. We've had a lot of viewers go out. Oh, that's right. We did, we did do a fix for place pages, a link to archived pages. All right, since we've hit kind of a lull. Oh, wait, here we go. Emojis coming to SL group chat. So that's kind of, um, kind of goes with with mobile, right? Um, we we were looking at bringing emojis into Second Life. You hope not hope. Um, but we ran into some snags with that, and so it's kind of been put on the back, back burner, too. As we get closer and closer to mobile, though, we may be looking at having to bring those in. So it's, it's on our minds right now, but it's not, it's not acti an active project. I'm not sure yet, Steffi. I need spamage emojis. <laughs> I don't know. Emojis might make some of those uh, those gestures a little bit easier. <laughs> so you don't take up like twenty lines. <laughs> all right, I have a question for you all. Um, we had a, a, a feature request come in, and so I wanted to, and this is kind of an old one, but I wanted to run it past you all. Uh, uh, one of them talks about having a go-to page for your, for your products that are listed, so that if you wanted to, um, you know, if you knew your product was on page five of all your listings. You could just jump to page five instead of having to page through all of the listings. Is that something that you all as merchants would want? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm seeing lots of yeses.
Yeah, when there's over 30 pages of product, yes. Sorting filter style, of course. Um, maybe. Yep. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll hold on to that one then. It seems like it was a, a resounding yes to that particular feature. Um, another request that we had come in that I kind of wanted to see uh, what, what kind of usage you would have for this kind of feature um, is if we included customers UUIDs in, um, in the downloaded CSV files. If that is something you would want and what you would in particular use that for. Current username accurately displayed in those files. Uh... Yeah. Right, right. Mm, that's true. Okay, well, those are the only two issues that I wanted to kind of get uh, get y'all's feelings about. We're kind of going through some older uh, JIRAs, so come next month, I may have another uh, pile of these to ask y'all about. <laughs> Search by UUID on marketplace order history. Hmm. I was wondering if you're going to fit that in, Lucy. Profile ratings. <laughs> you know, it is it is definitely something that we toss around every now and then, but it, it always gets shot down in the end. <laughs> I know, I know. We, we've tossed around ideas like profile ratings, like badges, like... Uh, even, you know, voting for regions, things like that. <laughs> they always get shut down. Yeah, it's it's mainly a, a popularity thing. <laughs> Charter member badge, yeah. an actual achievements thing. Like what? <laughs> Don't ask. Well, I mean, if you're going to suggest it, you've got to have something behind it. 
Survive the cornfield. <laughs> Save 500 outfits. <laughs> or 500 noobs. <laughs> Yeah, we've we've talked about things like that. And I mean, you know, if it makes sense and it enhances user experience, then it's definitely something we would take a look at. Oh no, please don't encourage massive inventories. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> People need encouragement. <laughs> I heard somebody mention today that they only had like 16,000 items in their inventory on their Linden account. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I have a lot more and mine is an absolute wreck of a disaster. Spidey. <laughs> That's a low amount on your Linden. <laughs> That's because it's all hidden on my test accounts. On your test accounts. <laughs> That's a good plan. <laughs> Look, if I expect you all to go through the pain of putting together a mesh avatar and having to blend your head with your neck, I'm going to have to go through it myself, too. Three hours it took me to put together a mesh avatar. Oh, my gosh. I still remember that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, and, you know, to be fair, a lot of that was shopping because I'm very indecisive and I'm very picky <laughs> when I have to pay for stuff. So, yeah. Oh, my God, show up as Ruth. I was Ruth once. Oh, no. Good luck, Sonia. <laughs> Primitars. Oh my gosh. Remember my first avatar, I'm putting as much bling on that thing as I could possibly get. And then not understanding why people were kicking me out of their regions. And the flexi hair, oh my gosh, the flexi hair. It looked like it was flowing in the breeze. <laughs> Face lights can come to brush fires. Yeah, I have one of those. Face light 3000 or something. Yeah, face light 3000. <laughs> it's a little backpack and... Yeah, you gotta keep your gotta keep your two thousand seven avatar. Yeah, shoes come out of places where you shouldn't be wearing shoes. Mm hmm Hair there too. No, we don't steal toast off. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we all look fabulous with all our flexi prims and bling and face lights. And Part 
limiters, yes. <laughs> I love flexi hair. I had I had like all the flexi hair at one point. Or my alt did. It had to be long, it had to be flexi, yeah. I have this amazing fur coat from back in the day. <laughs> and if I put it on, y'all would probably kill me. <laughs> but I'm probably going to anyway. I would expect no less. Part mesh, part prim. <laughs> Wow, it's aged badly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see it yet. Well, it's not really compatible with my mesh avatar. Oh. And this suit is one piece, so I'm not going to try to change clothes here on the spot. <laughs> but I used to wear this fur coat with the thousands of individually flowing fur flexibrims to meetings oh so that I could irritate engineers. <laughs> 745 scripts. <sighs> yeah. Oh yeah? Okay, now I gotta now I have to go look. Back in the good old days. Yeah, you just you're just a jelly doll to me my graphics <laughs> oh yeah I'm at 663,000 complexity <laughs> hey you're halfway to the 1 million more than halfway and, and in a distant second is Lucy with 190 Oh. Lucy. <laughs> oh my gosh, resizers, yeah. The Nikos are your bling. Neko, see, I always think of the candy though when I say Neko's. Yes. <laughs> yes, very much like chalk. You could use it to draw on a board if you had to. Neko's. <laughs> Oh, I don't like any of them. And I normally like licorice flavored stuff, but I can't do the can't do those ones at all. <laughs> I 
Now, hold on, sweet tarts are good. <laughs> I grew up on sweet tarts. Oh, I thought you were equating them to chalk. Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, Smarties. My kids won't eat Smarties, so we always get them in, out of their Halloween bags. Aren't there just one kind of Smarties? I mean, they're different flavors, or supposedly. Uh, it in like sugar to me. Canada, Smarties are like M&Ms. Oh, okay. I thought Smarties were just the solid version of Pixie Sticks. It's just sugar, I mean. <laughs> Straight up sugar. Is making nail polish now? <laughs> oh, I never saw the Ritter Sports with Smarties. That's interesting. All right, we have really gone down a rabbit hole. <laughs> we have about five minutes left if anybody has any last minute questions. <laughs> um, I mean, so I put the. I put a link in the uh, chat, but it scrolled by pretty quick. So since we are talking about getting a resident UUIDs, we have a public API that does exactly that. So it's quite easy to do. And if you have a spreadsheet or something, you can easily get the UUIDs of all the folks on your spreadsheet if you want. That's right. Thanks, Sherbert. Do you say, where's the link? I gotta scroll way up. Go find it. So that's the wiki page that tells you all oh, about thank it. Thank you. That sounds like a feature request. I'm sure somebody's asked for it before, though. Um, I don't have the answer to that. <laughs> well, if Veer doesn't have the answer. Uh, streamline the uh, Second Life viewer itself. Um, we talk about that a little bit here and there, but no, no solid plans for changing the way it looks right now. It's old. <laughs> yeah, we we talk about changing it up here and there um, but yeah we don't have any solid plans for making any changes to it right now
All right. Just a couple minutes left to either ask your questions or declare your favorite candy. Mm, gummy bears. Yeah, I have to go with chocolate too. Mine's uh, the Cadbury, um, the dairy milk with almonds. Well, I do like licorice. And I like black licorice more than red licorice. <laughs> you the entire Yes, I do. I like eating tires. <laughs> yeah, Brooke, I agree. Anything chocolate, pretty much. It's, but it's got to be good chocolate. <laughs> Three Moleskateers. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It's <laughs> lifesavers. All right, everybody, it is that time. Time for me to run off. Thank you all for being here um, and understanding about the, uh, the whole gacha thing. Um, we'll see you next month, hopefully. Think about, I have thought about grid scope experience. But we'll think more about it. <laughs> Just one. You'd be our test case. <laughs> All right, thanks for coming, everybody. We'll, uh, Dakota, you're welcome to crash any old time. We'll see you all next month. Bye.